What's up, everybody? Welcome to Lehigh Acres, Florida. This video has been requested by a few people since we've been down here, so let's do it. Lehigh Acres, one of the fastest changing places in Florida with always something new going on. Lehigh Acres is part of the Fort Myers metropolitan area. It is not an incorporated city, therefore it's just a place. It exists. It exists. We're just kind of in the middle of it all right now. Kind of in this geographical center kind of in a way and we're gonna take a drive around and show you guys what lehigh acres looks like uh, lehigh acres i haven't had really positive things to say about it in the past but um i think it's changing for the better in a lot of ways and you also have to understand my audience who my audience is where they're coming from to understand how the information that i have is relevant to my audience but maybe not to a local in southwest florida Since the last uh, demographical information came out, the Latino population, Hispanic population here has grown dramatically, making Lehigh be uh, statistically a much different place now than it was in the past. The Hispanic population has grown a lot, and that will mean um, a lot of different changes for the place. A lot of uh, out-of-state buyers are no longer the primary People moving here, you got a lot of people relocating from within the state. So that changes the place. Um, many years back when uh, Lehigh kind of got stuck with all the low income people from Fort Myers and adjacent areas, uh, kind of left Lehigh in a bad spot with um, a lot of the low, low income earning households ending up here many years back. Now the average housing cost here is about average to the state almost at around $300,000. So um, that makes it a little bit different now than in the past. Florida's a fast changing state and what's in one way today is in a different way tomorrow. So where we are right now, you know, we're knee high in the Lehigh, you know what I'm saying? Two minutes in this video and we're still alive. What a horrible video. Make sure you hit the like or dislike button. I would probably go for the dislike button at this point. The thing about these neighborhoods is you, just, you gotta have your whole style right, you know what I'm saying? You know, like... This is what it's really like. Things not gonna stop lighting. Lehigh, yeah, this is the real deal. This is what you're gonna get on a daily gonna, basis yeah, if you move be stuck to in a light. That's right, you're gonna be stuck in a light. Gonna be stuck at the thing about these neighborhoods is you gotta have your whole style right. You know what I mean? Like you just get a few people mean mugging you. You got you go. You gotta get your whole style right. You know what I mean? You gotta mean mug people the right way. You gotta have your whole style down. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you see these these people out here. You wanna call them casqueros? Try that, Katie. Casquero. Casqueros. If you see somebody, you wanna call them a casquero. That's kind of like like my friend, you know, like my buddy. So, you know, that's what you want. When you see these people out here, you want to say, Casquero! Mm. Try that. Casquero. Is there someone that I can call out here and just say, Red, really, Casquero? Yeah. Yeah, if you see somebody, you just be like, Hey, Casquero! Hey, Casquero! There you go. There you go. And, and that's just, you got to have your whole style right. You, you can't just come in these neighborhoods. You know, you got to have your whole style down from, you know, your clothes, your car's got to be, you, know, you got to have yeah. right wheels and all that. You can't just come up in these neighborhoods looking like you're from New York. Yeah. You know? Maybe Washington Heights, New York, but not Ooh, I don't know what really that New York, is, you know what okay. I mean? You just got to have your whole style down. future reference watch born think, in ESLA <laughs> uh, if you didn't catch that Cheech and Chong routine right there there's a restaurant right there Jamaican restaurant no Cuban where at it was the one where we got the pizza with. the Cuban pizzas yeah, yeah I'm not in the they have other pizza right too. there's like Cuban pizza everywhere out here I got a sandwich from there the other day. It was really good. Really? I, I think there was one Cuban place where Dad bought a sandwich here in Lehigh. It wasn't all that great. Uh, I feel like Tini's right there. Yeah. Like a food truck. 
And I crank my AC up, guys, to keep our windshield from getting too hot. Because uh, the heat. Is this a Walmart? Yeah. Let's go up in there. Yeah, the thing with your dad, he could buy it, say it's horrible, and then you try it and it's awful. No, I didn't like it. I tried it and I didn't like it. Yeah. He didn't like it. He didn't like it because he didn't finish the sandwich. Yeah. And then you know they come in half, so he gave me the other half and he's been fine. And I didn't like it either, but just the steak wasn't done right. Yeah. I don't know, the whole thing wasn't right. Yeah. I was born in East LA. I was born in East LA. I was born in East LA. See, in Walmart in Florida, they got they got their they got their workers cleaning up outside. They got their their workers are actually working here in Florida, unlike other places we've been to lately. Yeah. Where the workers are just like, come on, man, give me a beer, man. I need a beer. Come on, Jose, buy me a beer. Come on, man. It's the end of the month. You know we don't get our disability to the first. Come on, Jose, buy me a beer. Come on, Jose, cook this squirrel for me. I ain't saying what it was. I'm just saying what it is. <laughs> Come on, Jose, buy me a beer. Give me a cheeseburger, man. It's the 29th. Come on, man. You know we don't get our disability to the first. Come on, Jose. Buy me a beer. Cook this squirrel for me. I know you got one fancy stoves in there. But all this modern technology. Come on, Jose, buy me a beer. I know you poop don't stink. I was just joking, just how we're drinking. And then first rolls around. I don't need you. I got my disability money now. I buy my own beer. I don't need you to buy me nothing. I went to the Burger King, and now oh, I'm going the wrong way. Now I'm a king. Let's go quickly because we're going the wrong way. Yes. If the car pulls up into us, we're going to be in trouble. We're going to get road rage. Yes. Let's just go through here quickly. Those, I don't need you. I got my disability money. I want these squirrels in the first day of the month. I got a bird cane. I don't need a squirrel. They need to be up on the tree happy till the 29th when I run out of my disability money. So Lehigh ain't that bad. No. <laughs> I mean, just people here go to work and they make their money and they pay their bills. They're not. Living off the government, not everybody. For the most part. I don't know, after living in Alabama and I come back to Lehigh, I have a different understanding of this place. Is he like in Southwest Florida, where it's all rich people, you think Lehigh's ghetto. You know, but then you move to a real ghetto in Montgomery, Alabama, and then you're like, oh, yeah, this is a real ghetto. Okay. Yeah. And it sucks because, like, even though it's a better place, there's a lot, there's a lack of investment from like people just. I think it's because of the demographics of the place. Like large companies won't invest here. I don't know. Other than Perkins, which sucks. I mean, the Perkins in Bonita went out of business. Yeah. This yeah. one seems like it has a lot. Well, yeah, of, of course it's packed. It's the only freaking place in town. Mm -hmm. Like in donuts, Taco Bell, and Popeyes, but like, there's no Panera or Starbucks here. You know what I mean? There needs to be. I've always said that. Lehigh needs more investment. But they look at the demographics of Lehigh and they won't invest. It's not always about demographics. You could probably make a killing.
chilling out here. I would open a Starbucks here, but they won't because they they don't. You know, they look they at, need like three or four Starbucks in this town. I bet they would make it. Oh yeah. You know, but at the same time, it's it's just. I, I heard this estimate out of the restaurant's pretty good. Try. I haven't tried it yet. It's Cuban. Yeah. It's all about like here's what we count as tax collector. Which don't get me started on that one right there. First of all, you need um whatchamacallit? You need like uh, an appointment to get a driver's license. Ours was two months away. You're telling me for the next two months I can't get a Florida driver's license? It means I can't get a business license. Okay? It means I can't get settled down and start doing the things I need. I need to start a business. I gotta get I gotta get off the ground. You know what I mean? Like, so if you're moving to Florida, it's a hard time to be moving around. Actually, moving anywhere. But Florida, they they don't make it easy here. I'm telling you, like, they purposely make it hard. It's like if you're not able to, like, if you move to Florida and you need to like kick and start, you know, start working right away and get off the ground right away, you can't. Like right now, I need to get a business license. And a Google page and a whole bunch of other stuff, and I can't do any of that until I get my driver's license. Two months away, and they canceled our appointment. They gave us the appointment two months away, and then we just got an email saying, "Oh, wait, we canceled it." So, what is that right there, Colombian? Girl, what? Just giant food truck. Yeah. The house right there with the grass, with the trees going, mm -hmm. I'm already starting to see houses that, you know, are going into, like, disrepair. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, I, 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 another YouTuber made a video, like, that one, they, they didn't put a driveway on it yet. Yeah. Another YouTuber made a, a YouTuber made a video, he said 540,000 houses in Florida are going to go into foreclosure. That's one in ten houses. One in ten mortgages in Florida, sorry, not houses. One in ten mortgages in the state of Florida, seriously delinquent and getting ready um, to go to foreclosure. I saw a bunch of foreclosures at the market yesterday. You saw that? Yeah. But they were super, like, they're not like deals. No. Okay, they're like super overpriced. Like, the the thing with the foreclosures is the more that it comes on the market, the lower the, price, lower the market price is going to be. So they're just going to give us a slow and steady. They're not gonna like the banks. They're not gonna drop a million foreclosures in one day on the market. That's not gonna happen. No. They're gonna they have like, to foreclose on them. Yeah, they're gonna go like they're gonna sprinkle three or four foreclosures a day. And the banks, they're not gonna do that. They're not gonna drop a million foreclosures. They're not just gonna hit the market no. at once. They're not gonna do that. They're gonna sprinkle it in, and they're gonna get rid of the bad ones first. Yeah. Everything that's gonna hit the market at first is gonna be garbage. Yeah. And did you see that? Um the moratorium got canceled by the Supreme Court, so there's nothing stopping anything coming in now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, like I said, they're not going to just drop millions of foreclosures on the market. And the ones that they're going to release first are going to be all the junk stuff. Like Now, everything's a slow and steady stream. They're not going to just flood the market with foreclosures because they make money on the housing market. So they're not going to destroy the, like, what makes you think the banks are going to destroy their number one cash cow, okay? The number one cash cow for America is the housing market. That's how banks, they sell you a house for 300000 and now they make 400000 in interest. What makes you think they're going to slaughter their own cow, their own cash cow? They're not going to do that. What they're going to do is they're going to keep, they're going to keep reducing inventory they're gonna keep a show code on the economy. I, I don't believe everything that that's. And that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Yeah. I mean, I, I could. Oh, there's a mobile home right there. Mm -hmm. I could definitely be wrong. No guarantee that I'm right. But I really don't see why a bank would destroy their own business. Yeah. Why would you do something that destroys your own business? Why would you flood the market with all this work? They're not. And when they do get foreclosures, the ones that are going to release to the market first yeah. are going to be all the duds. Everything is garbage. They're going to release all that into the market first. The only, what they're doing now is the things that were in process before the... Yeah. 
No, they're they're garbage. I saw all the foreclosures. I saw five foreclosures at the market yesterday, and they were absolute garbage. Like there, yeah. there were. There's no way whoever buys these foreclosures is going to make a dollar on them. It's not like before where you'd see like a three bedroom, two bath foreclosure for sixty thousand. Yeah. These are like. This is the stuff that was in process before, uh, before the beginning, at the beginning of last year. This is stuff. They haven't released the other stuff yet. Not sure. Yeah. I, I know they were garbage. Yeah. They were properties that they were complete. There's no way you're going to make money on these foreclosures. No. You're like, foreclosures were a money making thing a while back. They're not anymore. I don't think they're going to be. It doesn't make sense for them to continue to be because, again, why would they? Yeah. Why would they destroy? The foreclosures belong to the banks. Why would the banks flood the market with something to destroy their own biggest money maker? It doesn't make sense to me. And the banks, they're not in a bind. Like, they weren't, they're not in a bind this time because they've already, the banks have been acting like they were in a crash with their lending practices months ago. So they're, they're already a step of uh, the curve. In other words, they're gonna be able to starve you out longer. They're, they got the upper hand this time. Not like last time where people put the banks in a bad spot. A quarter of bank loans now are government loans means that what is left of the market, a huge portion of it, is pretty much the government just filling the void for the economy that's about to collapse. So I just don't think it's going to be what people think it's going to be. People think it's going to be like, like if they've been hoarding money, they're going to be able to get a house. They're not going to make it easy. No. Like they'll put all these foreclosures on the market at really high prices. And there might be some where they'll be flexible, but... It's not gonna be all of them. Anyways, I don't. I don't really think it's gonna be the way think people think it's gonna be. There's a Salvadorian restaurant there. Let's want to just grab to go here to the Cuban place. Yeah. I'm on a Cuban bakery. I like that. And it's a really weird time to be alive. And things aren't gonna happen the way people might think it will. Gonna jump into the 23rd. 23rd right. We'll see what happens. But what I'm seeing with the foreclosures are hitting the market. They're not deals. Like I wouldn't jump on any of them. No. Somebody will. Yeah. Oh, I guarantee you, somebody in New York, California, is gonna jump on those foreclosures. But it ain't gonna be me. No. It will not be me. This place is pretty good, guys. If you're in the in the 239, I definitely recommend you guys check out this place in Lehigh. It's a real clean restaurant. Real big cafeteria. You go in there and get whatever you need. Um, definitely recommend it. Is that the Pope Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's I don't the think it's that. It's the Pope Yeah, it's the Pope On their safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this place is really awesome right here. Definitely recommend the Mono Bakery. Really good Cuban food. Love it. Definitely recommend it. Havana Bakery. Alright guys, checking out from Lehigh in the Lehigh. We're gonna get some Cuban food. Let me hear your thoughts and opinions on uh how uh, effective the banks are going to be in slowing down, um, you know, how fast. I think it's the government and the banks are both going to cushion this this time. It's not just going to be a, a flood of business or anything like that. I don't think so. You know, a flood of homes hitting the market, all millions of houses hit the market in foreclosure. I don't think it's going to be like that. I think they're really going to manipulate and cushion the fall. All right, guys, we're out.